look at setting up a door schedule for the project. So we've already got our door tags done. Now we're going to go to the view tab, schedules, and select schedule. Then we find the doors off the list. There we go. And say OK for a door schedule. Now we can select what type of or what fields and columns we want in our schedule. So what I'll do, I'll just pick a few of these and we press that button to send them across to our selected um, So there we go, got the sizes of the door, fire rating, I'll have the finish. Okay, so I'll just keep it fairly basic. Now the cost, I'll actually move down to the bottom and put that at the end so you can reorder which way the columns are. Now I also want another one which isn't on this available fields list by here. So I'm going to create a new parameter and call it glazing. Okay. And we've got a few options by here. So data type, I'm going to say text rather than length. And again, that's done the same then for the group. And I'm having it by instance so that I can select them individually for each door. Okay. And then say OK. And I'll move that one up a little bit. By there. OK. Um, there are some other here the options here, edit parameters and delete parameters if you don't want them. And other ones you can move back across into the available fields. There's quite a selection there. And oh, the mark as well, that is one I want. So I'll just put that there and move that one up to the top. So that is the one that links it back with the numbers of the doors or the windows, whichever you're doing on the actual drawing. So, so you can see number one by there and that would be the mark. So that's an important one to include. OK, let's click OK on that. And now we can see in our project browser, if you look under schedules, you'll see that the door schedule has appeared. It's automatically populated a number of doors from the project. As you can see, we'll probably need to jig them around a bit and renumber them, but that's fine. OK, so we can do that and we should be able to um, do that without any real problem. So see, I've clicked on the number one there and it's highlighted door number one so it can see exactly what type of one it is. OK, um, we'll leave it by there on this video and in the next video we'll have a look at how to edit some of these fields here. OK, so thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.